Oh, right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are here with a very special crossover episode, guys, because we have a very special replay. Down here at the bottom right side, in the blue, playing Zerg. It's no caps, the cowboy. Now, many of you may realize that is Hastum. That's right, Hastum here apparently has been filming one of his beating grandmasters with stupid stuff games. And you know what's crazy? I saw him post a video saying the craziest game I've ever played. I didn't watch it. And the reason I didn't is because earlier that day, I got a replay sent to me by none other than some of you may know Boanan, one of my latest smooth brain players. One of these guys who plays really dirty, cheesy, silly strategies, plays Protoss and Terran. And he sent me a replay saying, this is one of the craziest games I've ever played against Harstam. It is so silly. I normally would send this to your email, but I'm DMing you on Discord, just being like, dude, check it out. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I think he was trying to film one of his silly challenges for a YouTube show, and I ran into him. So I get that message from Boanan. I see the next day, or later that day, Harston posting a video of the same game. And I was like, immediately, I closed the video, and I was like, let's open this replay up and watch what happens. So some of you have probably already watched the first person view from Harston's point of view, but let's check it out. I think he was trying to do Swarmo stuff, so I think maybe he's watched our... I don't know if it's inspired partially by the, the one base swarm host Nidus that I picked up off the Korean ladder and I was doing those videos on. It looked like he was trying to do two base here because he went 16 pool, double gas, and then was going for an expansion. I think he was going to do an expansion, but it was going to be like still very, very fast Nidus swarm host. Unfortunately for him, he is getting hit by the cannon rush. Uh, the banana is my favorite unit, of course. Boanan means banana in Dutch, uh, and apparently that's Harstam's second favorite fruit behind the mango. Bonan does get up the cannon rush. Bonan, a dirty cheeser. Now, the problem is, one base swarm host wrecks cannon rushes because you can just break out with your free units anyway. So, Harsim's in a really good position. And I admit, I watched, I think it was the first one minute, one, one minute 20 of the replay. And he was like, am I getting cannon rushed? He's like, that's not the play, my friend. That was the point where I cut off the Harstam video. He's like, I don't think that's the play, my friend. And he was just smiling and Harstam was looking very cocky at this point in the video. So I can't wait to see what else is going on. The only other thing I would say here at this point in the intro is what's so funny is that Harstam didn't give a proper intro on this because this was part of the bigger video series where he actually introduced what he was doing. So all he said at the start was, oh, we're going to try the strategy again. And then the game went in. So I was like, What's the strategy? It's, it, I mean, it looks like it's meant to be Swarm Host Nidus stuff, but we'll see what it is. Boanan's got Zealots coming into her ass, and he doesn't have a queen out yet. He's gone straight for that infestation pit. Zerglings and drones go for the surround. Good micro by Boanan, though. The Zealot gets into a choke point. Yes, in between the mineral line. Oh, that's where you want to fight. Well done, mate. And, oh, good pullbacks so far by Harstam. Ha oh, Harstam's looking slick right now. Gonna lose two Zerglings and one drone. Oh, two drones and two Zerglings. So that's pretty good damage for just one Zealot, right? Especially when he's got Stalkers about to start coming in there. Extra gateway on the way behind this and a Robo as well. Does Boanan realize though? He's like, hey, he saw the infestation. I don't know if he realizes this is Swarm Hosts. Um, oh, he's gonna lose a drone. Okay, this is actually big damage. That Stalker could focus that spine down really fast. He's opting to target fire drones as Boanan. And he's managing to do damage, but Harston pulling back those individual drones. He can get these swarm hosts out. He can start to break up. He's building drones right now. Oh, man. It feels like Harston needs to get swarm hosts out to start defending himself. He still hasn't injected the hatchery, which I actually think is a huge issue. He's trying to think about the Nidus worm, but I think he's got to think about defending first and foremost. Tries to put a creep room at the front. Bo and Nan will immediately get rid of that. Easy peasy. Now, letting the spine crawler go up, I do think was a little bit of a mistake. Would have been awesome to cancel that. And oh, he gets another drone here. Okay, there's so little damage. Queens don't do much damage. Boanan's micro is actually really good here. Oh, he's a dirty boy. Accidentally hits the infestation pit, and the drone surround will come out. Stalkers will take out a whole lot of these workers, though. Harstam's lost seven workers. He's down to 16 versus 26. There's a Twilight on the way behind this. He's cancelled the Robo, so now he's just on three gate. He's going to start shading Adepts in. He's just diving on Harstam's economy. Harstam's first swarm host, only now starting at the four-minute mark. He is in the doo-doo. Pylon's getting placed around the base. Problem for Boanan, guys. He cannot move out of this wall off. He's full-walled himself. On the other hand, though, he's thinking about taking a corner base, which is going to be really hard for Harstam to find and deal with. So this is going to make it really hard to take out the Swarm Host, uh, to win with the Swarm Host Nidus. The Adept's already getting a bit of damage here. Oh my god, he even pulls back the weak one. Dude, Boanan is on fire. Harston doing sp slick spore tricks, though. The Adepts go back to heal up on the battery. Nexus is coming up first. Four Swarm Hosts are coming out now. He's got one out inside there. A drone is in there as well. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I think he put it in the Nidus to keep it safe, and now it's just in there. There we go. He pops it out and puts it back on the gas. Nidus one pops up here. 
Um, that's pretty far away. So I think the Nexus will survive the first Locust Wave or two. Adept Shading on in. He's up to 11 workers killed. Boanan is slaying Harsim. You can tell Harsim's like, really like, get the, get the Night of Swarm most up. Get the Night of Swarm most up. He's so focused on the challenge that he's trying to achieve. But I think he should just be throwing Locust to get rid of this problem and then focus on killing Boanan. Here we go. Locusts are going to come in. I think he's going to dive the worker line. Like I said, it won't be enough to kill the Nexus on its own. The next wave will be, but Bowen aren't running the probes away. And these locusts, they only got like seven seconds there. Oh, he gets the stalkers though. That's good. Not bad getting the stalkers, but no real infrastructure or economy damage. The probes can go right back to mining and Bowen Arn will do just that. Now it looks like his adepts did go down at the same time. So maybe trying to multitask a little bit too hard. He only got one more drone during that. And these swarm hosts are going to keep going. He's going to recall a big part of that mineral line away. Blink is on the way. Now, Blink Stalk is, of course, very mobile. So they're going to be amazing for dealing with this. And he can force Harstam to use Locusts defensively to deal with this. Queens will pop out. They can put down Tumors as well as Transfuse, which will be very nice. And I think he'll have to pop back inside that Nidus. He wants to use the Locusts on the main. Doesn't micro those Locusts, which means they do drop on the pylon. Oh, if he could get the Twilight, that would be big. There is a battery here as well. Seven seconds left, six seconds. Boanan's doing a great job. He's got to put these probes to mine, though. His multitasking is getting wrecked. He cleans up the Nidus and the Overlord, but there's another Nidus worm in the back of the base. Back to mining there. He still isn't put to mining here. Oh, no. Okay, he finally realizes. And remembers that. Remember, a big part of dealing with the Swarmhost Nidus is if you just get multiple bases and infrastructure elsewhere, gateways, Twilights, extra Nexi, you can afford to lose this base because this is a distraction. Harstam's putting all of his one base income into stopping your mining here. If you're still mining down there and you get another base elsewhere, you will start winning this game. And these stalkers coming in. Oh no, a lot of probes did go down. And notice he's spacing out the locust morphs now, which is actually quite effective. The stalkers are going to keep trying to push forward there. The probes having to pull back. Blink is getting chronoed. He's almost got it. Blink should be a game winning strategy though. I think if he uses it expertly, that's a big if. That's a big if. Bonan's a good player, but he's a cheese lord. I wouldn't say his mechanics are tip top. He's good. Don't get me wrong, he's a GM, he's playing Harstam here. But can he really take Harstam on when Harstam's sp spamming Locust on his face? These stalkers need to blink to the high ground and deal with that Nidus. There's a creep tumor here, which of course he has no detection, he can never deal with that. He's going to try and blink to the high ground, that's dangerous, man. If he gets caught by the Locust, that's going to be terrible. Ah, oh, the Nidus gets hit. Swarmos are in the main, he's trying to go around getting these Swarmos. He can't afford to lose these stalkers though, mate. These are his only gateways right now, these two gateways and that one on the front. Okay, he's going to try and defend these buildings as best he can. More Stalkers coming in. He's got gases going down in the bottom left, knowing he doesn't have too much gas right now. Stalker's going to take out that Swarmos. Harstam doesn't have any scouts going out. He's making an Overseer, so I think he wants to use that to scout. Another Nidus Worm goes up in the back door. Bowen on with no detection. It means these Creep Tumors are always going to allow him to keep dropping Nidus Worms left, right, and center. How many Swarmos is he up to? 11! 11 Swarmos. And there's an Overseer heading to the left, which is going to scout his base. This is a huge problem for Bowen on. Uh-oh. Okay, he's going across the map. He's going to try and dive on the base. He says, okay, you checkmate this base. I'm going to go checkmate your base. He's warping into Adepts to start things off. Stalker's going across the map. Spine's trying to build. Harston realizes what's happening. Let's see if he can handle it. He's, of course, clearing the gateways out on the other side. These Adepts come in. They get a drone. They're going to grab one or two more drones. Not bad by Boanan. He's on hold position there, of course. So they're just auto-firing on whatever's in range. And these Adepts will take out a bunch of those drones. Adept does pull back. Stalkers are here. If he clicks on these spines quickly, that's going to be huge. He's clicking the overlords right now. He's going to let those spines get up. Okay, he gets a swarm host. Not bad. One swarm host goes down. Second one does get transfused. Mid volley does survive. Well played there by Harstam. These locusts still haven't cleared up this gateway. That's actually an important piece of infrastructure because that is the only powered gateway right now. Harstam finds the bottom left base. That probe gets caught. Oh no! This is what I was talking about. You want to always set up lots of bases all around the map because then he can't slap them all down. But if he doesn't get any probes out, he could be in trouble. Okay, the probes are hiding off to the left. That's a smart move. The Nexus might fall. Okay, I think it survives this wave just barely. Just barely. Okay, just barely. 200 hit points. He needs to mine more money and get a Nexus up somewhere else. The Stalkers are coming back. If he can shut down this Overseer, this could be good. Boanan, he's going to get underneath. He's going to shut, shut it down. That's huge. He's got to get rid of the Overseer, though. That's the most important thing because that will spot for future ones. He gets it. Gets the Changeling. Harstam has no vision in the bottom left. He's got to make an Overseer as well as sending another Changeling down to try and pop a Nidus. He's got to get rid of that base. All of this tech is pretty useless. He could pop out a swarm host and slowly kill like the core and stuff to stop him making stalkers would be effective. But building gateways here, not a good move for Boanan because that's 100% going to get slapped down. Uh, you guys could tell I've played far too much swarm host Nidus, right? You could tell I've played too many games of this exact type for both sides of it over the years to know what you have to do. The, uh, the stalkers coming over, the changelings over there. Overseer moves to the right side. 
I still don't know who's winning the game because like you, you've got to look at the 11 swarmers and say hey if they can clear out the important stuff like this is this is something Hastem should have done a while ago it's going to be huge he takes out the pylon the cannon the battery and the gateway significant part of Boanan's infrastructure is just going to be gone there but Boanan clever gets a nexus up here and his stalkers are cleaning up the vision in the bottom really well so that Hastem can't keep being offensive now of course you're never going to break three spines on a ramp Plus some Zerglings, plus some Swarm Hosts and Queens. Like, there's no way. Boanan goes up there and is like, yeah, nah. But a Nexus does get spotted by the Overseer. Boanan doesn't see that because the probe is, of course, all the way down here. He sees it now. Let's see if he does anything about it. He's too busy down here trying to block Nidus's on the bottom left. And that's going to allow Harstam. Wait, how did Harstam put a Nidus there? Did he have it? He must have had a Changeling here that just disappeared. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> the Overseer's over here and he built it there? Never mind. He must have started it a few seconds earlier when he had something spotting there. Maybe the Overseer was further to the left. Trying to repower his production, a smart move by Boanan. But without detection, you can see that the creep tumors are actually a massive problem because there is just no way to stop them. I do think Boanan should leave just two Stalkers patrolling down here to stop Overseers crossing over. But notice he's got such a big patrol path on those Stalkers that this Overseer might just get right past. These two pylons will get taken out by a couple of slow zerglings. That overseer is making the crossing. He's making the crossing and he's going to get by. These stalkers will find it, but a little bit too late already. Nexus in the top right goes down. He's got a probe here. He can keep taking these bases, but Boanan, remember? Oh, he finds it. He finds it. If he can get rid of the Nidus, that'd be great, but oh, he's not watching. He's not watching. This patrol path was not good enough. Only one stalker aggro is onto it. He finds the Nidus in the top side. That one will go down, but the one in the bottom could easily pop. It's a bit dangerous to pop out there, of course. DT Shrine's on the way, by the way. And a Viper. Hastem's getting a Viper. He wants to start abducting Stalkers into his Swarmos. I think an Infester would actually be a super, super cool move. If he goes for uh, an Infester, fungles the Stalkers so the Locust can kill them, they'll die very quick. Boanan just left the Overseer on red hit points. Oh no, big mistake. He is going to clean out all this tech in the main though. That's a good move. Okay, he's going to get rid of the gateways. There's still two gateways in the bottom left though. I don't think there's a cyber core though, once this cyber core goes down. And I think all of that disappears here. So this is a big win for Harstam, clearing out the tech. The problem for him is there's now 20 Blink Stalkers alive. He's going to try and take an expansion. Spines and the Queen's moving down. The Stalkers blink on top, but he's, he wasn't focused firing at first. The drone's trying to stop him. Swarm Host helping out here on the defense as well. Does move past those spine crawlers. Blinding Cloud? Yes, he blinding clouds! <laughs> Drones and Locusts trying to defend the Swarm Host, though, right now are... They're, they're, they're not loaded. They need to refill their ammunition to do this again. This guy down here, he could still pop more Nidus Worms up offensively. If he loses that hatchery, though, he's stuck on one base for a lot longer. Oh, he gets three Stalkers. Boanan, he could click the hatchery and run. But, oh, he doesn't want to lose these Stalkers. He's, he's lost six, seven Stalkers in the last minute. Very expensive move. Killed a lot of Hastem's drones, but Hastem's hatchery survives. Big problem for Boanan. Uh, that is a big issue. There's two Overseers right now. One in the left. Oh, okay, they're both on the left side of the map. One down here and one is over here. So the problem for uh, him is he doesn't have any detection at home. The stalkers, though, for Boanan being way too risky. Oh, he's going to try and do do uh, a run run around a circle. Oh, the abduct! But he just blinks it back. He abducts it again! <laughs> the stalker runs away, though. The stalker finally dies. Okay, get out, get out, Boanan. Run, 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 run. The Swarmos are trying to block him. They're trying to body block. Those two stalkers blinked and got blocked by the Swarmos. It actually worked. Boanan, no, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh my God. Boanan is so excited. He knows who he's playing and you know he, he's watched Harstam videos and he, he's losing so many stalkers for no good reason. Oh, but the DTs kill Harstam's hatchery. So that's going to be a big move for him. Nidus Worm down here. Boanan hasn't noticed it. Oh no, he never cleaned this Nidus Worm up earlier. I can't believe it, Boanan. <laughs> Don't throw this game, buddy! But Hastem's fighting hard. And remember those Swarmos. He's still got 11 Swarmos, which beat the crap out of Stalkers, DTs, all this sort of stuff in small numbers. These DTs running in circles. The Queen and the two Locusts not really able to take it out. DTs do fall back. Swarmos coming forward. These Stalkers have found them. That Locust Wave could clear the very important base here in the left side, though. Hastem, he's going to let some of them fight the Stalkers. The rest go to the left. DTs trying to warp in. They will do great damage. But I don't think there's any way that Nexus survives. Nuh-uh. Look at that. That Nexus disappears, as do the probes. Ooh, tries to run them away. Good save on some of those. Boanan still has the superior income. 
but he's got it. Be careful. He cannot let his opponent expand. He's killed another spine crawler at the front of the base. Harston right now, he's got a swarm host scouting around the top. He's like, dude, okay, I got rid of that Nexus, but what else can I get rid of? What else do I need to do here? Trying to pull his spines back to one base. He's gathering more energy on that Viper. I still think an Infestor would be the best move for Harston right now. And now if he builds three, four Infestors, he's got a thousand gas. That could be a game winning strategy right now. I would love to see that. 25 workers on one base. Big mistake for Boanon. Remember guys, you never want to centralize your economy against Swarm Host Nidus. You want to be building like a Nexus here, a Nexus here. And maybe you take this base. Like you just try and be surprising. Oh, he blinks off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I did not expect that guys. He just killed a Swarm Host, did he? But there's 14 Swarm Host still. He loses a few Stalkers. He's only got six Stalkers. He's lost 21 Stalkers. Oh no. And look at this. A single Swarm Host gets in there. Unfortunately for Harstam, he's not fighting with those Locusts. He derped out on his control. So the Locusts were on move command. They finally start shooting and killing probes. But then they do fight the Stalker, which distracts them. More Swarm Host coming in though. Meanwhile, Overlord's getting picked off by Stalkers down there. There are eight DTs with also Blink DT tech about to come in. He's picking off Overlords. Harstam's close to being supply blocked here. These Stalkers are going to go around. If they can get the Nidus Worm or the Hive, either of those would be big. He's going to get the Viper. Oh, that's a big pick off. He's going to go for the Nidus Worm now as that's far away from the spines, but this Nexus will go down. Boanan has not rebuilt a Nexus yet. And you can see he's in panic mode. He's trying to dive, but he's diving a guy on one base. You don't need to kill a guy on one base. Oh my God, he's going to get the Nidus. If he gets the Nidus and there's no head elsewhere, then it will kill everything inside, but there's nothing inside and there's two heads elsewhere. But the Nidus butt does go down. The butt, of course, the, the sphincter that you climb in to load inside is a, a very interesting situation there. Uh, Boanan's thinking about retaking the bottom left base. Oh, I don't know about that. I think maybe this base would be a little bit better. DTs. Oh no, he loses a DT as well. Boanan, he's lost 27 stalkers and two DTs. He's got six DTs a stalker. He's got no mining. I can't believe it. He's lost so many units. He's lost 11,000 units for 6,900. Hats off to the cowboy there. Hitting those meme numbers just right. He's trying to rebuild the Nexus here. Changelings are scouring the map for it. Harstam's efficiency doing pretty well. Oh, dude, I love this though. Look at that. He runs in, kills the swarm host and blinks away. Boanan is like, heck yeah, mate. This game is absolutely Boanan, man. You see, you see, we'd say absolutely bananas. Doesn't roll off the tongue when you say bow and on. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll stop. Uh, DTs are still hanging in the natural. Anytime he runs in and does that, because there's no sustained normal damage, except for what? One queen. He has to throw locusts just to try and kill these DTs. Oh my god, they kill a queen. They kill a queen. Can they get more? They get a swarm host. And he blinks away. He's got to watch out for abduct. After he blinks back, the viper could abduct a DT and actually do really well. A Zealot and a Stalker are here. He's going to try and blink across the gap. This Overseer, which he should have finished off earlier, but he pulled away from. Get out of there! You can't waste these units, Boanan. Oh, no. And the problem is Boanan is so focused on defending this base. Remember, you should be using that money to put a Nexus elsewhere. Oh, the DTs run back in. He's blinking back. Abduct! 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 Oh, he abducts a DT, and so it doesn't blink away. He gets a DT kill. Exactly the maneuver we're talking about. There's only four DTs and one Zealot left on the map. There's 17 Swarm hosts. Harstam is almost completely out of mining. This is his last 230 minerals until he has to start long-distance mining. But despite that... He's going to kill this last base of Boanan. Boanan has not started building a base ever, anywhere else. He's so focused on the Viker interactions. The DTs are going after the Spycrawler right now. The Spycrawler uproots to try and run away. Oh my god. The Locusts, they might be able to kill a DT. But the DTs, oh, the DT dies. Another DT goes down. Harston microing his units back and forth. DT is going to take out the Spycrawler. The new Nidus butt has been built, but he's so low on money. This could be big problems. The Nexus survives for now. The DTs are going to go after this. Oh my god. Uh-oh, one of his guys doesn't have a blink ready. The other ones are trying to get out. He's got to get out. Oh, the abduct. He gets it. He gets a DT there. A DT goes down. Another one. The single viper that he rebuilt is an absolute hero. It says zero kills, but he's killed like three DTs with abducts now, effectively. Nexus goes up in the top right. Beautiful moves here by Boanan. Unfortunately, he's never dealt with that Nidus. He's trying to rebuild down here, but he should know this position is compromised. His DTs are still trying to force him to use the Locust defensively. And Harstam uses a panic lock. Locust wave. He only needed to throw like two pairs of locusts to get those guys to run away. But he's got all of his swarmos here. He needed to split them up and be sieging the other bases. And this is instead allowing a single zealot to clear up his nidus on the left side. This buys Boanan valuable mining time. Harstam is almost completely out of mining. He's gonna he's long distance mining his natural with 10 drones. That is it. And these DTs are still harassing the heck out of him. Zealot cleans up that nidus worm. Even putting up a new nidus is so expensive. Oh, he abducts the DT, but Boanan too quick on that one instantly. Blinks out of the, the, there. 
I still think Infestors would be absolute winners. You cannot blink while you are fungled. So you fungle, four seconds, no blink. Locust will kill you. Another Nexus goes up here. Bonan playing really smart. He's splitting his probes up all over the place. Oh, he barely misses that Nidus Worm. Probes do not have very good sight vision. And the Nidus Worm will pop up. Harstam's going to go for it. It looks like he has got the Viper in the spine crawler here. Ready to punish the Overseer. A little far back, though. The DTs can take out the spine crawler. Uh-oh. That's a big problem. Stalker does go down, though. This base is absolutely in trouble. Two swarm hosts are at home right now. As long as he keeps just two or three swarm hosts at home, it's hard for those DTs to do much. These DTs go in. They kill the battery. They haven't killed the base just yet. He's going to have to throw a few more locusts to clear out all this infrastructure. Lots of pylons here. Cybercore gateway, though. All this stuff is very valuable. The problem for Cowboy, the problem for Harston, is the fact that that Nexus is mining fully in the top right now. Oh, Bowenon lets his probes run through. That's actually the most expensive thing. Losing the probes, because you, you never need to lose probes to Swarmos if you're quick at pulling them away. DT is running back, and he's got to pin some more waves back. Harston realizes what's up here and throws some Locust waves. He will deny that base. Oh! Oh! Okay, blinks away, blinks away. He gets abducted, but a second abduct comes in, and the Swarmos block it. Harston abducts a DT into a Swarmos surround. It blinks away. He abducts it again, holds it in place. And guess what? One DT, three Stalkers. I think we might be looking at a dead Boanan just simply because he doesn't have the ability to really produce right now. He's got two gateways, but they're not powered. He's got one there. That one's powered, actually. So he could warp in one unit at a time. Top right, he's got to get the probes out. It's all about getting the probes out of there. If you do... Oh, no, no, no. This is his economy. It's his economy. He's going to lose all of his probes. His stalkers do go in at the same time, which is an adorable maneuver. It's a good maneuver. Don't get me wrong. But he just lost 10 probes, 13 probes. He's down to six workers. Oh, no. Boanan, though. Oh, is he trying to snipe the base? I guess these are the last buildings. So if he can just kill the buildings. Boanan is such a cheesy player. Rather than establishing an economy and defending it and trying to deny the Nidus Worms, he's like, if I just kill all your buildings, you're dead. Nice abduct, but there was no locust to punish that time. You need to have the double abduct available to truly punish in these scenarios. Throwing out these locusts just one or two pairs at a time does seem acceptable. I think he should just throw two pairs of locusts at a time and he can do that pretty much constantly to keep these stalkers at bay he's only got seven drones left does Harstam and he does need to mine with those he's got to keep throwing these locusts out you can see Harstam struggling because he's a Protoss player he wants to use everything at once and oh he's like oh you just press the button right oh no he's been watching that music video that came out the other day the the f2 a move one oh man that that one where it's just the the ape playing the bongos on the north american ladder queuing as a gm protoss um <laughs> if you guys haven't checked out that video you definitely should just search up f2 a protoss uh protoss song something like that it's, it's it's a good one it's 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 actually made by a gm protoss player um but yeah, Harstam, he's got to split these locusts up and he's got to find these this last base over on the left because he's rebuilding right now. Oh, the Viper. Watch out for the... The double abduct is so scary. He abducts his Stalker. It's trapped right now, but the Viper goes down! Oh, that Stalker took one for the team! Harstam can rebuild a Viper or a couple of Infestors. He, he absolutely can do that, but he, if he could split his locusts up and use that Nidus Worm in the top left, or has he got any in the back? He doesn't have any in his opponent's old base. Oh, the Stalkers, though. Look at the way they're focus firing and avoiding the locusts really well. I mean, it feels like there's pretty much endless locusts if they're thrown out just in small groups like this. Killing that gateway is going to be huge because remember, there's only two gateways. The other one is not powered. But, uh-oh, he's going to lose a Swarm Host. Oh, those five Stalkers able to two-shot those uh, those Swarm Hosts. And he finds a Nidus Swarm just uh, by chance up there. He does take it down, doesn't lose any Stalkers. Locust DPS might be wild, but only if they're able to land hits on the DT. Oh, no, the DT! He's going to get the Hive! Harstam needs to rebuild a Viper right now. He's, he's building two Vipers. He cancels one of them and makes two, three Overseers instead, realizing, uh-oh, I need to make sure my detection doesn't get sniped. So he said, okay, this is his last things he's built. Because once the Hive's dead, he can't build Vipers. So he's going one Viper, three Overseers. He's decided that's it. His Hive's going to fall. This is a huge move. Boanan gets a gas as well. Ah, oh, he doesn't blink out. He loses the DT. That's unfortunate. But you know what? He's got a probe there. He's going to take a Nexus. Oh, that's a genius move. Harston would never check this, right? The problem is that the creep will spot the workers mining from the high ground, so maybe it's not as genius as I thought. But the, the idea is there. Two gateways here have been found by changelings. Probes kill the changelings. Should definitely repower this gateway as well. Stalkers are running in behind this. He's going for the elimination race. There is two extractors, a nidus worm, a nidus butt, a nidus head, an infestation pit, and a spawn. He tries to run straight past the locust. A crazy move. I would have loved to see Harston throw a few more. Oh, he gets a swarmost and gets out. Wow, Boanan. 
just really abusing that blink mobility. And you can see that Hastamir completely broke. Oh no. Luckily, this Nidus is still on creep. If, if a building's not on creep, it will burn down. The exception being an extractor. But, uh, oh man. Okay, he's going to take out this Nexus. Bonan's going to have to cancel that one. He's retaking the top right. Dude, he's, he's really figured out the pattern. Hastam's trying to play whack-a-mole with these Protoss bases, but Boanan's jabbing him with the Stalkers, keeping him occupied, and keeps expanding in these different areas. You know, Boanan is really expertly playing this right now. The Stalkers going to try and rotate around. If they can keep going in for those uh, building snipes, that could be the win condition. Two Swarm hosts get in very deep. It's a real shame that he never got Burrow. This is the sort of game where you're like, oh man, I wish I made Burrow seven, eight minutes into this game. It would have given me so much value because... Boanan has literally never had detection this entire time. Abduct's a Stalker, but I don't know if that's going to achieve anything. Oh, man. Does lose a Stalker, but a bunch of Swarm Hosts do go down. Does it really matter? There's 13 left. Yeah, he could eventually get through all of these Swarm Hosts. That could actually be very big. He's chasing these Swarm Hosts down. One of them is about to refill its load and throw that at the face of those Stalkers. The Stalkers could blink past and keep chasing, and they're going to do it. Wow. Ballsy move by Boanan. Gets another Swarm Host. Gets another Swarm Host on top of that. And these Locusts still working on that Nexus. Boanan is still in 14 probes, though. He's got a Nexus up outside the Zerg base, a Nexus in the top left. He's chasing down this Nidus Worm as well. Ooh! Okay, remember, there's zero drones, no hatchery, no mining for the Zerg. The Protoss player is still able to mine, but he doesn't have enough money to be rebuild a Nexus. If Harston can find the top right and deny mining on this one, which is very easy, a single Swarm host can deny mining on that base, then he'll be good. Right now, though, look at that. These Stalkers are keeping him occupied. Oh, very well done by... Oh, Boanard is all over it. He's just keeping him pinned. He's literally mining from the low ground there. The Locusts will come to the high ground. I don't know if they can reach... Okay, those two will get in the mineral line. Boanard's got to get out of there. He's going to try and maybe pull to that right side, but that could lure... These swarm hosts to his expansion. Stalker's down here. Nice abduct comes in, but there's no locust to capitalize. No, he's gonna lose the Viper. No, that was the one unit giving him value for so long in this game. The Viper went down. Oh, Boanan panics and kills his own Stalker, trying to focus the swarm host that was about to get in the Nidus. Boanan is so excited right now. This game is absolutely bananas. The Stalkers are gonna get the Nidus Worm. They're gonna get the Nidus Worm. The Nidus Worm goes down. The Locusts are. Oh no, the Stalkers get surrounded. You're kidding me. The Stalkers get surrounded. They went too deep. Oh, Boanan with a drastic misplay. Yes, he kills the Nidus Worm. Yes, there's only a few buildings left for the, the Zerg player, for Harstam. And there's even probes trying to zap him right here, which is just hilarious. But there's no units left. There's what? One Stalker. And is that it? One Stalker. I don't know if he's got a powered gateway. He does have a powered gateway and a cyber course. So we can make another Stalker, but he has no gas mining. He's only got enough gas for one more Stalker. Now, one of the really interesting things here is building count. Infestation's going to melt. Extractor, spawning pool. These are the last two buildings of Harstam. He also doesn't have a Nidus here. So he has to leave some Swarmos to defend those buildings while clearing up an Assimilator, a Pylon, and most importantly, getting rid of this Nexus in the top right. Harstam's about to find the Nexus in the top right. Harstam is revealed as well. You see when we go on his vision, if you don't have a hatchery, a Nexus, or a command center, any of those buildings, you will be revealed. That's the way StarCraft works, so you can't just have one little thing hiding in the corner of the map. Um, and not your, not your army, but your building. So if we look at this from, of course, um, the viewpoint of Boanan, Boanan C is spawning pool extracted through the minimap, through the, through the fog of war. He can actually spot that. Stalkers coming in to harass these locusts, trying to get some damage on them. Very good micro so far. I don't think he's ever going to get rid of the overseers, though. He's got to be careful. Swarm hosts are here. I mean, microing his stalkers in separate positions seems incredibly taxing. That, oh, no, no, you can't lose that. You can't lose that stalker. Oh, no. Boanan just lost his stalker. This is why you don't try to micro like that. It's too hard. And oh, no. He's trying to defend his base. We know this never works. Shield battery overcharge does not matter. You cannot defend a base. You just can't. You just can't. Oh, man, man. The locusts aren't getting on the mineral line, though. The stalkers. Oh, no, another stalker dies. What is happening in this game? They're both so excited. They've been fumbling for so long. Harston took so long to slap down these corners. But Boanan keeps on just getting trapped by the changelings. Harston's trying to use the changelings to trap him. The probes are even fighting the swarm host now as well. He's trying to focus that red airpoint swarm host down. Can he get it? One more shot. No, it needs one more. The probe finishes it off. He tries to surround the stalker. He gets it. He gets it. Blink, 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 blink. But he gets out. Blink comes off cooldown just before the Locust can kill him. One Stalker, ten Probes versus five Swarm Hosts, five Overseers, and a heck of a ton of changelings that those Overseers can keep on pooping out. Remember though, there's still only two buildings down here. These are the only two buildings, and he absolutely could base trade this, could Boanan. 
He's, he's coming back with his probes and his stalker. He's trying to kind of defend this, trying to fight it out, but what an absolutely wild game this is. If he actually powers his gateway in the bottom left, he can also make another stalker. He has enough gas to do that, or he can spend all of his money on a Nexus, which is instantly scouted by Hastum. Hastum's last remaining drone. I didn't even realize he had a drone, but I guess he built one out of an egg that was left somewhere, or a lava that was left wriggling around, is actually going to do that. Now, these five swarm hosts... I think they can keep the Stalker at bay pretty much forever. Boanan is going to have to go attack those buildings. That's going to be the play. But he's so busy thinking about surviving and rebuilding his income, he's not even considering it. you got to keep in mind, even though Harstam knows about that base in the bottom left, he's got to kill this Nexus first. And he's trying to throw his Locust just one or two at a time so that there's no point where the Stalker can come in and ruin his day. So you see the Stalker there kiting Boanan, doing some fantastic micro. 150 APM average for the Protoss, 261 for Harstam. And uh, the Changeling's going to come down as well. See what they can scout. He's going to go up here. He's going to go after the Nexus. Oh, okay. The Stalker's still buying valuable seconds here. And that will allow him to mine a little bit of resources in the bottom left. Will it really add up to that much, though? I think these Locusts are going to finish it off now. He's going to throw one more wave of Locusts. The Nexus goes down. The Stalker comes in. And these Swarm Hosts are going to now have to make the Exodus to the bottom left side of the map. I'd like to see him move up and to the left so he, he goes over the... the uh, the creep here to help him out. Look at that though. Boanan's like, any damage I can get. And trying to be very sneaky with his blink arounds. Doesn't quite work out though. And look at this. There's still only those two buildings. Mining is up. Yep, he's just about to start mining. Okay, the stalker needs to get in front of these swarm hosts. Now the swarm hosts are just running for it. This is a big mistake. The fancy blink pass that Boanan did, I think, cost him there. Oh my god! Almost gets trapped by the swarm hosts, blocking him, and the locust doing the damage. He's got to be careful, man. Run! He takes another locust hit. One more locust hit, and he is almost dead. Oh my lord! Okay, yep, two, two locust hits, and he's dead. That's it. Two locust hits, and that stalker's dead. If he loses the stalker, he has no ranged fighting units, and it should be impossible for him to win. Oh, no, no, no. Get out! Get out, Boanan! He wastes four locusts there, but he's, he's going to lose mining here. And he doesn't have 400 minerals. <gasps> Boanan doesn't have 400 minerals! If he can't return... Okay, he's going to return just enough, and now he's got to run. Return the minerals! Return the minerals! Return the minerals! He didn't drop the last minerals off, guys! Oh, no! He's only got 398! If he doesn't return those minerals, he can't build another Nexus. The Stalker is cornering itself! No! No! What is going on? That Stalker... Going full YOLO, almost gets itself killed. He blinks across the cap. He's out of there. Oh my god. Boanan does not have enough money to rebuild, guys. He's got to return those minerals. He's got to realize this one probe is now turning around. He's going back to return the five minerals so that he can build a nexus. Oh man, the Stalker is keeping him kind of cornered. This is a lot of the remaining Protoss buildings. Luckily, there's some other buildings. If this goes the way of the base trade, uh, like completely, or base race, I should say, where it's about actually eliminating their structures first, that will matter. He returns! He returns! Five minerals, and he can put an excess down elsewhere. Okay, but at this point, you've got to wonder, what is the strategy? This Stalker, the absolute goat of all Stalkers, it's parting, literally driving that inside a bloody mecha suit saying diva voice lines for some reason because he's a troll that is literally who's in that suit and finally he realizes he can go for the base trade uh oh hastum hastum these are your last two buildings bro the probes are going to try and win this base race he's going after the extractor there with the probes while building a nexus in a very sneaky position kind of in the middle of the map where he's hoping hastum doesn't happen to notice it there this nexus will go down he's not going to be able to kill all these buildings there's too many buildings hastum should know that that's the, the thing the thing is as there's a Nexus that's, that's been rebuilt, his opponent's not revealed. So he actually can't see the Nexus. He can't see. He can't confirm. These are all the buildings. If he doesn't go back, the extractor's down. This is the last building. Awesome. That's the last building. You need to get home. Okay, the swarm hosts are heading back. The swarm hosts are heading back. He's trying to use the changelings to maybe try and block it or something. Spawning pool, 800 hit points. He needs to get home right now. The stalker's continuing to harass him. There's only four swarm hosts left. That stalker, an absolute bag of dicks right now. Harstam getting slapped in the face repeatedly. Not enjoying it. Oh, four hit points left. The stalker. So, yeah, get out of there with that stalker, man. Dude, he should be able to save the spawning pool. Boanan, you cannot lose that stalker. You can't take risks. Dude, if those locusts were waiting there, he would have lost it. Boanan taking the riskiest moves. Here we go. Locusts say, hello, Mr. Probies. Do you want to play with us? And they are going to absolutely destroy it. And that, killing the probes means there's only one stalker. If he can stop all the probes from escaping. Oh, can he get out? Two probes. One probe escapes there. There was already one probe at the Nexus. They can go and mine the stalker as well. The problem is, creep sees where he goes. 
And so the swarm host will know where to travel to. The stalker, I think, should give up on killing the swarm hosts and should just go past and go for the spawning pool. There's a big cooldown here, only leaving one swarm host, not enough. I think he should have left two swarm hosts. If you have two swarm hosts shooting, there's almost no downtime in between. <gasps> oh no! He needs the locust! He needs the locust five second cooldown! Okay, he's bringing back his swarm host. Hast him! You cannot lose that spawning pool. Spawning pool will slowly regen over time. But he's got to be careful. He needs to leave two swarm hosts here. Send two swarm hosts to kill the Nexus. I think he can do this. Harstam can absolutely win this game. The single parting stalker on the right side. The two probes on the left. I don't know where this is going to go from here. I just know that Harstam can win the game. But he needs to leave two at home. Just one swarm host at home is not enough. And I, I think throwing locusts here is a good idea. It's worth it to kill the probes. I think it's absolutely worth it. Because there's no mining going down right now. He's going to send one probe back to mine his bow and none. That puts kind of pressure on the opponent one probe goes past has him die you gotta you gotta defend you can't let any damage get on that mate the stalker thinking about oh he's attacking from the low ground and the, the locusts get baited but past him loses no he can he can see the high ground he can attack up the high ground because he's revealed boanan can attack the high ground because he's revealed oh damn what in the heck he thought when he was gonna oh my okay past him thought when he was going to kill the probe, that, that that Bo and An would lose high ground vision. Let's rewind a few seconds here. He's like, that's cool. I'll kill the probe. And then you can't shoot it or blink up. But he forgot that he's revealed. And when you're revealed, it gives vision. You can actually attack up clips. I didn't even know that was an interaction. So the locusts land there, kill the probe. And the stalker is able to finish it off. I don't know if Hastam knew that that's how it worked. I bet he didn't. What an absolutely silly, crazy game. And he tries to get to the low ground there. Oh, no. Hastum could have won that game if he split those swarmos up a little bit earlier. Dude, I got to say, that probe running past is actually the sickest move. Because he's like, it's a bait. You're going to try and make me waste my locusts, aren't you? And this brave little probe here, man, this little Mission Impossible probe is like, nope, I'm just going to literally run straight past. And he's like, uh, I don't think I can waste locusts on this, can I? And look at that, the stalker's like, hey, waste two locusts? And this probe actually gets a lot of hits in. It does like a good 40, 50 damage to the spawning pool. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Hasta must have been so shook. What an exciting, fun game on both sides. At the end of that, 41 stalkers, 8 DTs, all with Blink died for 19 swarmers, 3 vipers, 4 queens, 62 probes versus 42 drones. Absolute insanity. Massive cost efficiency for Aston with the Knight of Swarmers. But Bowenan, GG, well played, mate. <laughs> Alright, so I've got to actually check what Aston's reaction was here. Nexus somewhere that's mining. Oh, actually, maybe this is possible. Hello, kill this. How does he have vision? Oh no! He has vision because it's revealed! Oh my god, his soul just left his body. Oh, oh no! Yeah, I, I didn't know that was even an interaction. He was like, oh, I can do this. He was just realizing he can absolutely win this game. And then it just gets taken away from him. Oh, <laughs> the pain in his eyes, we've always been there. Hearthstone's normally so lighthearted, win or lose. But even, even he was a little shook from that one. The sickest thing is if I had one more mineral... If I had one more mineral, I would have been capable of building an extractor with the drone I built. Oh my god. This was legit the last unit. Also kills on this. Only six. Oh! You can't be serious. <laughs> oh. oh, it's so painful, man. It's like funny, but I also feel his pain. Oh my god. Oh! 
<laughs> this was insane. I made so many bad decisions, and so did my opponent. We were so careless with our units when we had many. Yeah. It, it's truly, you don't really know what you've got till it's gone. Yeah. I wish I had a Viper or one Mineral. This was the last one. That was it. There was one probe, <laughs> one Stalker. I could have won as well. I forgot. I thought if I kill this worker, he can't see upstairs anymore. But when you get revealed, it also just provides high ground vision of the buildings. So he can still see it and shoot it. I had him backed in a corner because you can't blink up. If I if this had 10, 40 more HP, I would have won. If I had one more mineral, I would have won. If I had a... Oh, I Oh, the pain. GG, well played, though. Hats off to Harston for going, that was the most painful loss ever, but that was also the most special game ever, and he just chucks it up straight onto YouTube anyway. Absolute legend. Thank you, Harston, for playing that game. I, I, I When Bowen answered me that replay, I was like, oh, this looks like a... This sounds fun. And then Harston posts the video right after, and I'm like, oh, I've definitely got to look at this. GG, well played. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy crazy jank games like this, crazy James, crazy janky games, check out some of the videos on screen. Don't forget to check out the Patreon and support that down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and good night.